Jill, let's talk about the morning that your life changed. It was September 23rd, uh, 2020. I had woken up to wake my daughter up for school and didn't realize it, but my husband had passed. And so it was an unexpected, completely shocking. We were preparing to move, um, change locations, staying in the city, but just downsizing. And so all of our conversations had to do with forward, future, next. He wasn't going to be a part of that with me anymore. So I woke up a widow. I remember reading a post that you sat on his lap the night before and you were talking about the house and should you, shouldn't you, yeah. where are we going? Well, he, we had had a buyer, our first, the first look had a cash offer. And so then we put an offer down and they backed out of the offer for no reason. And my realtor, you know, she got the earnest money. And, um, and so I just thought, wow, that, that was kind of a blessing in disguise. And so we showed the house uh, the night before I found him. And, um, and we came back from showing the house and I, cause we had to leave and the people were very sweet. But I said, do we have to sell the house? And he's like, we really need to downsize. And I said, okay. So then I crawled up in his lap and I put my arms around him and I just said, you know what? Wherever we go, as long as you're with me, I'll go. And um, prior to this season, my husband was very, very sick. We had found mold in our house, and it impacted his mental health. So for almost a solid year, my husband was extremely, extremely and you didn't, mentally sick. You were telling me about that earlier. You didn't really know what was going on, did you, initially? No, he just seemed different, not enough different where it was obvious. His memory, um, he was manic. He was like a child. I like couldn't get him to stop talking and stop interrupting and calm down. And so we saw a, a functional medicine doctor who informed us that he had mold psychosis. And it, uh, for some people, 20% of people have sensitivity to black. It's, it's bad anyways, but some, some people actually, it is, it is deadly. It, it, it actually puts holes in your brain like carbon monoxide. So that put us on a journey. You know, we went and did treatments. So he did these neurofeedback treatments to his brain. But... The night I sat on his lap and wrapped my arms around him and told him I, you know, just happy to have him back. He was back about 89% of his brain had, had regenerated and healed itself. So God did a real miracle in healing his, his brain and healing his body. And so um, that day changed my life. I had no idea. I had no idea it was coming. 